Easy work boxing. About to hit you everywhere but under your feet with this one. Uh, yeah, I know I'm finna go in, you know. The, he's fucking Charlo Brothers. <laughs> he's fucking Charlo Brothers, man. What can you fucking say about him? Man, I, t- I tell y'all each and every time, these boys right here ain't nothing but some loud mouth punks. Some fucking loud, loud mouth jealous punks. That's all them boys is. Love attention like females. That's that's all they is. They just love attention and they ain't getting nothing from it. That's why they so mad. That's why they so mad at Adrian Broner. I mean, what would make Jamal come? Even Jamal come there and act like that. Jamal wasn't even acting like that. And Jamal was the one who was talking trash to uh, Javante and Adrian Brown. So what did what made Jam- Jamal come out his feelings like a little girl at somebody else's press conference? What what made you do that, Jamal? You weren't getting no attention, Jamal. You mad because your brother wasn't getting no attention and wasn't no cameras around your brother today. That's what's wrong with you. You need your bottle. You need somebody to pat you on your back till you burp. You little ass babies. <laughs> Them niggas making me sick. I can't stand the Charlo brother. I don't see how anybody could be fans of these boy. Look, man. For one, he was trying to be gangster, right? But everything that Adrian Broner was saying to him, he repeated back. When Adrian Broner said something, he said the same thing. When Adrian Broner called him a kid, he said, kid. He said, I don't care about no cameras being around here, but he ain't broke no line. Ain't nobody holding him or nothing. You looking up on the stage to confirm that your brother knows what's going on because you don't want to go over there by yourself. Did anybody else pay attention to that? The whole time he hooping and hollering, he walking back and forth towards the stage to make sure that Jamal hears the confrontation so Jamal can come over there. But at the same time, while he doing all this shit talking and yelling, ain't nobody holding him. Ain't nobody holding him. He could have easily broke through, walked through the little crowd, stood over there where Adrian Brown at, and then cussed him out and said something to him. So if there would have been an approach, then something could happen. Which I'm sure nothing would have happened. Ain't nobody finna lose no money over no argument. You know, I know Adrian Brown is smarter than that. To go out and uh, go and get his money and fight. You know what I'm saying? Instead of arguing with this uh, fucking bomb ass nigga uh, Charlo. And that, yeah, I said I wasn't gonna never say that about another fighter. But them niggas some fucking bombs. You know what I'm saying? Jealous ass, whole ass niggas. You had to ask yourself, why, where, where did all this beef come from when y'all was just in Adrian Broner's face about a month a month and a half ago smiling and dapping hands? Where did all this shit come from? Y'all, excuse me, I just got off. But when I saw this, I was like, I got to I got to make a video and go in on these niggas. What, what you mad? Because Adrian Broner, when he was on his interview and they asked, what's... Uh, about your brother fighting, and he was like, who? Who? That's what you was upset about? You see, I've been noticing what Jamel been doing, and I, I gave him credit last time, because I thought he was trying to, you know what I'm saying, work his way up, you know what I'm saying, doing the Adrian Broner type things, but now I see him and Adrian Broner, and the way they uh, promoting themselves is totally different. You know, AB can be ignorant too, but AB can make you laugh with him. A.B. could make you feel A.B. The Charlo brothers, this Jamel motherfucker, all he does is make you upset and make you not want to watch him and just wait on him to get his ass beat. You know, with Adrian Broner, some people hate him so much, they'd rather see him get his ass beat. With Jamel Charlo, people just rather wait till after the fight and hear about him getting his ass beat. Don't nobody even want to see him. He's just ignorant. He acts like a female. He, he just struggles to get attention. You know how when you was little and you was outside playing with your friends and your mom, she was probably in the living room and she was listening and going on with everything that was going on outside. And when you came back in the house, she told you like, uh, that boy ain't your friend or they ain't your friends. Y'all remember that? Them Charlo brothers, them, them was the motherfuckers your mama was talking about. Them, them switch up type niggas, ain't your friend, fake motherfuckers. She was talking about the Charlo brothers. <laughs> that's, that's, I mean, 
I ain't making nothing up. I ain't talking back. Read between lines on these dudes. They sit up and do the people face, shake hands, dap, this, that, and all to say they going for you. And then this thing, you know, they talking bad about you and cutting up at your press conference. I'm telling you, the, 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 the boys your mama was talking about when you was little calling you in that back, telling you they ain't your friends. It was the Charlo brothers. It was niggas like the Charlo brothers. I mean, what you, I mean, what you, why are you struggling to get so much attention? Why, I know what it is. Like I said in my last video, they mad because this man comes back even after losses and put more asses in the seats than him and his brother put the fucking together. That's the problem. Pure jealousy. Pure jealousy. I just said the black man's fucking kryptonite. <laughs> fucking jealousy. I mean, um, they ain't gonna never be on the level of Adrian Brown, in my opinion. They ain't gonna never put asses in the seat it's like uh, Adrian Brown because most of the time all you hear is negativity and hate coming from uh, the Charlo brothers. You never hear anything really positive unless they trying to say they are... Uh, Fighting for their kids or, you know what I'm saying, they trying to be the best. That's the only thing you hear positive for them. You mention somebody else's name, it's nothing but negativity, you know. And I'm t I actually tired of even, you know what I'm saying, talking about these niggas, you know what I'm saying. Because everybody, they showing they self, they showing their full image now that they some uh, little fuck boys, flu gazing. You know, instead of y'all using all this energy to show up at people's press conferences and try to make yourself known then. The best way to make y'all self known is by beating the best fighters that's out there. Why don't y'all run up on um, Demetrius Andrade? Instead of you hollering at somebody who, what is, two weight divisions down from you almost? Yeah, or a weight division down from you? Why don't you holler at Demetrius Andrade and ask him for a fight? Why don't you use all that boasting and all that uh, shit talking to get on Twitter and ask Demetrius Andrade to get in the ring with you. You you won't do that though. Y'all always saying people on this floor at Mayweather shit. The first thing come out Charlo out the Charlo brothers' mouth. But when y'all when Demetrius Andrade name is mentioned, the first thing y'all going to say is he's broke and he need a payday. Okay, help him get a payday. Prove you can beat his ass. Prove you can beat his ass. Y'all talk much shit about the man. You know what I'm saying? He talk much shit about y'all too. You know what I'm saying? Because he want to fight with y'all. Y'all been talking shit about the man for years. Not telling the truth like he was scared of y'all. The man jumped out the fight because y'all, one of y'all, well, I think it was Jamel or Jamal, was getting paid more than him and he had the belt. Who would have fought? How the fuck you getting paid more than me and I got the title? I don't give a fuck what your promotion company is or how good it is than mine. I got the fucking belt. You're not finna fight me for my belt, and I'm making less money. So, fuck, they don't tell people that. They try to make it seem like Demetrius Andrade just jumped out the fight because he afraid of the Charlo brothers. Get the fuck out of here. Everybody know from the amateurs. All you gotta do is go back and look from the amateurs that Demetrius Andrade is a beast. Is a fucking beast. Okay? It don't matter if you're tall, short, he gonna beat your ass. The only motherfucker who I never known to beat him was Keith Thurman, and that was one time in the amateurs, and he beat Keith Thurman ass three, four times straight after that, okay? So, while they doing all this hooping and hollering, I keep asking people, asking people, while y'all on Twitter, you got Twitter accounts, keep typing in Demetrius Andrade under they post. Fuck all this motherfucking arguing with people who shorter, out of weight class than you, who you jealous of and mad because you can't get a car to your own. Y'all will never be pay-per-view stars. Nobody really knows y'all name. Up until a year and a half ago, I thought you motherfuckers was French from the name Charlo because y'all barely talk and nobody even knew y'all. So now y'all trying to earn y'all way up in the boxing ranks by running your motherfucking mouth and getting attention like females. Next y'all motherfuckers going to be twerking or something. <laughs> I bet you. Next couple, next next few months, we might see the Charlo brothers twerking on YouTube, trying to get motherfucking views and getting on. If <laughs> Adrian Brown should have told him, nigga, man, y'all get off my dick and get on my. He should told him, get on my level. That we should told him. That put with a hurt his face. Get on my level. Quit coming to my press conference talking shit. Come to my cars talking shit. Get on my level. That was somebody I should have told. Whew. 
I can't stand Charlo Brothers. Are the Charlo Brothers good fighters? Yeah, they good fighters. For for the fanboys, come on here. For you Charlo Brothers, uh, for the Charlo Brothers boyfriends, come on here. They are good fighters. I'm not telling you, I'm talking that, about their character as men. I don't like them as men. They they flew gays and fuck boys. They, uh, as you see, I don't see how anybody could be a fan of men and act like that. Unless you're a man to act like that. Fuck out of here. All this shit talking like somebody holding him back. Even his homeboys who was sitting there looking at him. They was looking at up on the stage like, man, the fuck out of here. Shut up, Jamal. I mean, Jamil. Shut up. You trying to pay attention to your brother getting on stage. You ain't finna do shit. <laughs> you ain't finna do shit. Shut up. Shit. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. Now come over there and bust your nose. <laughs> you doing coke. Now come on there and bust your nose. Boy, sit your ass down. Bust Demetrius Andrade nose. Hmm. To the Charlo brothers, uh, girlfriends, there's out there boyfriends, fanboys. Tell them, tell you, tell your boyfriend to go bust Demetrius Andrade nose. The dude who just walk around on um, what's his name? I think that was ego. Yeah, ego boxing. With the dog telling the Charlo brothers, bitch up, bitch up. Tell him to fight them. Tell him to fight him. Go look up Demetrius Andrade. If y'all don't, because a lot of people act like they don't know Demetrius Andrade all of a sudden. Go and look him up. Yeah, this is the motherfucker Triple G don't want to fight. Canelo don't want to fight. Motherfuckers at 154 didn't want to fight. Laura didn't want to fight. Uh, a list of more than 154 pounders did not want to fight. Uh, the ones who he had fought was legitimate good fighters who didn't beat uh, good fighters, and he didn't whoop their ass. He just whooped Delante Fox ass when he first moved up to 160. This motherfucker is 6'5". Come on, y'all. Stop getting these. They good fighters now. But we got to, come on, we got to demand them step in the ring with somebody. I mean, look at who Jamal fight, a motherfucker named Centeno. Who the fuck is this boy? I don't even know who the fuck that is. And no disrespect to him if you're a family member or friend of his who just watch videos on YouTube. I don't even know who the hell he is. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. And he sitting on that top, like, this a goddamn lion he going against. Like, this goddamn Triple G little brother or <laughs> some who is you fighting? People always have to wonder who the hell are y'all fighting for real? But y'all get up there and act like y'all are whooping the best ass that's out there. Get the fuck out of here. Damn. But I just say, you know what I'm saying? Give a shout out to Adrian Broner for his star power to Charlo Brother fans. Fuck y'all. I don't see how y'all can even be fans of no niggas like that. That that's just with them all them female tendencies, them whole tendency traits in them, you know. But you know, I, I just had to get on here and comment about this because it's really sad and pathetic for two motherfucking men to act like that. You know what I'm saying? Jealousy and hatred towards a man because he on another level than y'all. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? You know that shit pathetic. But you know this is easy work, Boston. Thank you for your time. Like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, please. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get up there. I'm trying to uh, get up on the next level. You know what I'm saying? Like, it says levels to this shit. <laughs> but uh, thank y'all for y'all time, man. Y'all take care. And y'all watch the fights tomorrow because I'm going to be watching them when I get off. And y'all know I'm going to be ready to make them videos for y'all. So uh, just stay tuned. I appreciate you. I'm out.